this is Jill from Inhabitat, and I'm here at the National Mall in Washington, D.C. for the 2011 Solar Decathlon, sponsored by the U.S. Department of Energy. There are some amazing solar-powered prefab homes here today, and we're going to go talk to some of the students who built them and check out some of the designs. The Solar Decathlon is a, a biennial competition and it challenges 20 collegiate teams to design and build solar powered houses. It's been happening for about 10 years now, this is the fifth competition. So it has to be solar powered, no, no other form of energy use, and uh, they're all modular. So they, they call it the Decathlon because there are 10 events, five are qualitative, five are quantitative ranging from architecture to engineering to market appeal, and most recently, uh, affordability was just added to, to the competition. Two of the biggest constraints were spatial. We had to maintain our house under 18 feet high and within our solar envelope, which is 72 feet wide and 65 feet deep. And the square footage requirement for the house was 1,000 or less. All of the appliances, everything, all the fixtures, all of it is all electric. You know, electricity can actually you know, power your entire house. It kind of allows you to question the needs for gas utilities and other energy sources. One of the stipulations of the competition is that the house must first be built in the home state. How do you design a building that's meant to be assembled in New Jersey, then disassembled, shipped all the way down to Washington, D.C., assembled again, and then disassembled and then shipped and built a third time, hopefully in a final location. Other teams internationally, teams from Belgium, New Zealand, all over the map, build their houses in their location, transport it to Washington DC for this week and a half of competition. I am judging the architecture of these really cool homes. And these are some of the most clever homes I have ever seen. So I'm excited to be going through them and checking them out on the inside. You're working for two years on what you think will be the best entry for this competition and then everyone else shows up and they come up with totally different things. You know, there are some that are really interesting in terms of pushing the envelope of how to rethink spatial arrangement. There's others that are really pushing the envelope in terms of technology. So they have a connect which allows you to virtually control the lights in the site. And then there are others that, you know, I'm happy that they are trying to appeal to the masses because there'll be a variety of visitors who will come. And since one of the main goals of the Solar Decathlon is awareness and getting people excited and inspiring them to rethink how they live, I think there's something here for everyone. I think being here and feeling all the energy of all the other teams are working and feeling just the dedication and seeing the results of, of all this work that we've all put into it has created a a very competitive but at the same time very respectful and, and encouraging atmosphere. And the ability to show off our houses and share these ideas with, with so many interested people. Teams to beat, we've had, uh, we've had our eyes on SciArt Caltech and Team New Zealand for the most part. But there are some really interesting houses out there. New Jersey is really interesting with their, with their precast concrete. I love the Belgians. Yeah, I always love the uh, succinct, succinct shape, so I think they are the best. Okay. I think getting everybody to embrace the idea of solar homes is twofold. One is it needs to be affordable, it needs to be accessible, and the other part is it needs to be inspiring. This is really a great step in the right direction because it achieves both. Every team here has a different solution to the problem and there's a lot of really good ideas. The competition is going to be stiff, but I think that we have a really good chance. 